This is the very attractive and rugged landscape of the Aveyron in the north of the southwest region of France. Nestled against the rocks at an altitude of 600 meters, the historic village of Roquefort-sur-Soulzon is the home of one of the most emblematic French cheeses, the delicious Blue Roquefort. This famous fromage has been made here for more than a thousand years and must by law be exclusively refined and mature within the complex cave system under and behind the two kilometer long village. I feel privileged to visit the Papillon Roquefort Company where I meet Sébastien Leclerc, the cave master. Eh bien, le Roquefort est fabriqué à base de lait de brebis, euh, du lait cru, du mois de décembre au mois de juin. Et euh, il est affiné euh, ensuite dans les caves naturelles. Elles sont naturelles parce qu'elles sont, elles sont parcourues en fait, par de, par de l'air qui vient des fleurines, qui sont des, des failles en fait, dans la roche. Roquefort obtains its blue characteristics from a special mold that grows on ripe bread. Papillon bakes their own bread, which they leave to go moldy in the caves. This introduces the blue mold to the cheese. Donc l'affinage euh, se réalise dans les caves naturelles, donc sur planches de bois, euh, pendant deux à trois semaines. Once the blue mold has appeared, the cheeses are wrapped in tin foil and matured very slowly for between three to 12 months. This roquefort looks so perfect. It is the result of a thousand years of savoir-faire. It's a privilege to test it where it's made. Tu peux me dire quelques mots sur ce roquefort Oui, donc euh, c'est un fromage plutôt jeune, un roquefort plutôt jeune de 3 mois à 4 mois d'âge. Et euh, il est assez rond en bouche, il est bien beurré. Je l'adore. Ben, je l'aime aussi. The full flavor of Roquefort cheese is brought to life in this creamy celeriac soup. First, I cook about half a kilo of large celeriac cubes and two diced potatoes in boiling salted water until soft. Then, I place the drained cooked vegetables in the pan with two cups of milk and one tablespoon of butter over medium heat. Then stir in 150 grams of Roquefort cheese until melted. The warming Roquefort releases appetizing aromas. I next season with pepper and blend the soup until creamy. Just before serving, I sprinkle this delicious velouté de céleri rave au Roquefort with snip chives. Rodez, the capital of the region, is home to the outstanding contemporary soulage museum and a superb cathedral. Almost every shop offers regional specialties. I enter the shop of Monsieur Theron, a well-known butcher and small good maker. This is one of the biggest ham I've ever seen, 22 kilos. It is a tradition in this region to make a ham out of a sow. Mm. Now I understand why they love it. It's great. Tomorrow, I will discover the magnificent Lozère region and its gourmet specialties. 